everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So I am recording this episode and probably the next one back to back with the first one I did. Uh, and we're going to jump straight into combat right after we get our guys sealed up here. Uh, we've got six days and then we'll have our, our automation done as well. Top notch work. work if I may say so. You may say so. And we're going to get our training module up and running now. Uh, 88,000, which is great. Okay, I'll get the team on it right away. Thank you all. Thank you very much. You get that working, please. All right, so we're going to go. Um, let's hit up our pilots first just to see. I don't think we have enough experience for any of them, but we might. Standing by. Nope. Yeah, Goofy was the only one I wanted to really look at. He doesn't have enough. You don't have enough. And I don't have enough. So uh, let's do this. Contracts. So we're going to try to avoid the base defense ones for as long as we possibly can. Stubborn Surrender, we're going to take this. Uh, we're uh, we're going to be going against pirates. Um, old mechs in colors from their conflict long since ended. Show the mech, the mech warriors the war is over for them as well. Most likely it's one lance, but let's negotiate this. And we need parts, so parts is parts. 13, 3 and 13, let's go for it. And we shall deploy as we had deployed before. Let's do this. Ooh, that's really chunky. All right, let's do this. What do we got up here? Oh, it's this map. Okay. All right. So is this... That's the edge of the map there. I got tons of space on this side. My guess is there's going to be an ambush here. So let's uh, use this as cover. We're going to move up over here and see what we got. So these guys, I guess, won't engage. Catapult 2. Catapult 3, I mean? What the? A couple of helicopters and... Arrhenius Electo. Really? Okay. Uh, interesting. Yeah. All right, so we're going to try to engage from range. The clans do best. Locus two C. What's the plan? Plan is to move up, find the enemy, and destroy them. Attack them and destroy them. See what I did there? See what? See what I did? That was funny, right? <laughs> All right, Dallas. All right, let's move. I think I want to pull those small lasers off this thing. We picked up another. We picked up a medium. We picked up a large. Don't know if I want to put the large on there, but maybe pull off some smalls and put a medium and some ar some more armor on it. This Jenner is fast. I kind of want to pull the jump jets off this thing, but th that last battle showed to me that we uh, we should probably leave them on. Look at that beautiful mech. Okay, Goofy, you're up. Let's get some sensors on if we can. Don't crest that hill, though. We've got an unknown on sensors. Kit Fox, okay. What variant, though? That is the question. What variant do we have? Well, wait, wait, wait till that Catapult 3 gets uh, rocking on this guy. I will not be in range. I will be in range. How is that possible? Is that movable to that? It is movable to that distance. What do you know? Well, let's move up. Let's give him the what for since he's standing there for a whole turn. 7.3% chance. All weapons committed. committed for nothing. 
You know, it's funny. I'm thinking, oh, y what the heck is that? I'm thinking, Damage you should just fire them anyway. But then it's like, no, because they're not going to hit anyway. <laughs> It did splash damage, maybe. Uh, can we... You can't get in the battle yet, can you? Moving at full throttle. Alright, what do we got here? Hollander, 45 tons, eh? Alright, Hollander 2. 0.9. 0.9. Target locked. Never know. Nope. Not today. Right here. Mm -hmm. Can you... Location confirmed. Let's get into here. What do we got here? Wow. We'll take this one. Oh, terrible! Yeah. No, feel free not to use your missiles. Feel free to sit there and not do a damn thing. Oh, you got MMLs, that's why. Swarm missiles, great. Yeah, you... You see we've engaged them, right? You have orders? Yeah. Let's see if you can spot anybody else but don't engage yet. Hopefully I can go, be go before them. We'll fire and maneuver. Fire and maneuver. It's the name of the game. What are you, a paratrooper? You goddamn right I am. I guess technically you would be you'd be considered that, or mobile or mobile infantry or something like that. Mobile armor. Oh, somebody new. Somebody new. Just stand back there, guys. You don't need to do much. We'll take care of the problem for you. Maybe. Okay, 17. It's a 9 ton, eh? And 17 on the Kit Fox. Do I want to get rid of this guy? Doesn't look like I have much armor. At 9 tons. I think the Kit Fox is probably more dangerous. Nice! That's a lot of hits. Let's get back here. Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be the primary skill is going to be fire and maneuver this one. And then uh, probably multi target. Although, I don't know, maybe tactics too. Like, I, I got to see. We could just go have everybody at firing and maneuvering and then, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Multi-target's a nice skill, but is it necessary 100%? I don't know. Do we want to get this into a position where we can fire like this? Don't think we do. Not yet, anyway. Let's get over here. want to do it when we can set up and everyone can claim some damage at the same time. It's all the same. We've got a short ton of ammo. I'm not worried about it. Although what I am worried about is reinforcements. Thirty percent with the gas. That's pretty good. Twelves, twelves. Yep, we're on here. Let's fire. 
No. Well, you don't shoot, you don't get the hits. Yeah, so with the addition of the uh, my tiredness that I've had the past little while, the stress has gone through the roof. So not only has my back been killing me, because my shoulders have been locked up, but uh, my arms have gone numb again. So that's because of my nerve problems that I have. Well, not really problems, it's just genetic. So my, my arms have a tendency to go numb from the neck down. Mostly around my, uh, my pinky and my uh, um, ring fingers on both hands. And um, people have said, oh, you got carpal tunnel. Uh, I'm like, no, I don't. I don't have carpal tunnel, I've been tested for it. And uh, it's firing this guy again. Wow, nothing. Yeah, I don't have carpal tunnel. Been tested for it. Um, but what I do have is nerves that cross over each other. Why would I be able to see? I guess it's got something to do with the Beagle Pro, probably. We want to go as far as we can, I think. We're going to target this Kit Fox, see if we can pull it down. Oh, only the ER large, huh? Oh, nice shot. He's going down, too. So I guess he's lost his leg. So we can try and target that other leg, which would be nice. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Wow, that's kind of cool. I'm Looked like an EMP. Can we get a shot on that guy? We can. Move over here. Yeah, so I got nerves that uh, cross over each other. Oh, we try and... I think we try and take that leg. Take this. Damn it, girl, you got the best gunner and you can't hit a goddamn broadside of a barn. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, so my nerves cross over each other. What is that? Uh, really? Is that, I guess it's out of range. I guess so. Well, let's see if we can hit the torso. The Got one hit, okay. Hit. Yeah, so I got something on my arms called Martin Gruber and Astomosis. Basically, my nerves travel down the arm, but they don't go straight like everybody else's do. They wrap around the arm, and then they cross over each other. So the, the, the signal that each nerve sends back to the, you know, the spinal cord um, crosses over all the other nerves, so it receives a signal from multiple nerves at once. It's, I don't know how to really explain it. It's bizarre. But um, I don't have carpal tunnel, and even if I did have carpal tunnel, any carpal tunnel surgery that I did most likely wouldn't work. So I just have to kind of deal with it. So I get numb arms, sore arms. It's just really, really bad. I can't rest my arms on my armrest. It's just bizarre. Sometimes I have to sleep on my back with my arms kind of folded over my my uh, my chest because my arms can't be bent all the time. Because if they're bent, um, it stretches the nerves. Because nerves aren't elastic, they don't really stretch all that well. So you're basically pulling on them. Not really stretch. They don't really stretch like not like muscles or skin or whatever. So you gotta try and keep them as straight as possible if you can, which is what I have to do at night sometimes. Is just lie on my back with my arms folded over my chest, not folded over, but like I guess across my chest, one going one way, one going the other way, so that they at least stay straight. It's kind of bizarre, but my, my they feel better in the morning. Plus I got arm brace to keep my wrists straight, which really helped too. A kid fox. We gotta take that leg. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta get you out of there. Let's get up here. 
The other guy disappeared, huh? Let's fire on this Kid Fox. Well, let's pretend like we're going to fire on the Kid Fox and not. We just freak him out a little bit. Get him looking at us so someone else can shoot him. That's how we roll, you know what I'm saying? Freaking people out. Is there no way to get these other guys to engage? I mean, they could roll over these guys without a problem. Probably only LRM range, but we'll take a chance. Oof. Still take the shot anyway. Destroy enemy max zero percent. Oof. Here's the thing is I have no idea if uh, we're going to have reinforcements. So let's not fire that goss unless we have a good chance. Huh. You think? Goofy, you got to get the hell out of there, man. Yeah, anytime you want to fire. Anytime. We got to get the hell out of there. Yeah, they got guys coming up on the on the uh, right hand side. Heard a vehicle moving over there. As you wish. Okay, finally they started engaging these guys. Maybe they'll fight back now. Standing by. I'm there. Oh god, chances to hit. There you go. Anytime you want to fire though, man, like, feel free. Oh, it's the Raven. I know we're having a hard time. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. That's kind of interesting. Wonder if we can hit that guy with a Gauss rifle. Love to put one right through his cockpit. Show him what we think of him. Come on. Anytime you want to move. There we go. It's not shooting, which is a good sign. Anytime the enemy doesn't shoot at us, it's always a good thing. Uh Like, I'd love to do this. Let's go after this Kit Fox. What's up, buddy? Side shot. Good chances to hit. Taking it. Okay, nicely done. Okay, jammer removed. Still a lousy chance to hit, though. A little better on this guy. We're just going to fire the lasers. God, nothing. Right. 
Almost makes me want to pull off that uh, the Gauss rifle for now. Reporting. Can you get a shot at him? You can from up here. Let's take it. Got to lose some of that instability. Not bad. Roger. Okay, one hit. Okay, he's a little stressed now. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, sorry I've been taking these circles off, guys. Like I said, I'm recording this episode right after I recorded the last one. So he's the LRM version, I think. So, uh, because I recorded right after the last version, uh, uh, obviously I didn't get a chance to read any of your comments about these. I will have to look it up though. Hopefully by episode 4. I might record one more tonight. Hopefully. Um, by episode 4 I might be able to figure out how to get these circles off. Because I don't think we really need them on. Okay, so they've got this guy in here now too. This catapult could shred these guys, but all, all he's got to do is turn around and not face his back towards the enemy. That's all you got to do. We got another blip somewhere. I heard a blip somewhere. Infiltrator. Do I want to shoot this guy in the back? 50% chance to hit from there. Let's just go for the kill. Let's just go for the kill. Oh, good damage, but not enough. No damage detected. What? what are you talking about? What are you talking about no damage? I saw the numbers. Well, Waiting for orders. God, you can't jump very far, eh? I want you down here. Doesn't matter what you do, you're not even going to be able to hit these guys. Six and a half percent. It's a little better. Just move over here and shoot him. Oh, one hit. Oh, he's panicked. Nice. He's got lerms, so we gotta move. I understand. Come on, hit him. Firing. Damn it. Damn it. I just didn't I just say that? Yeah. Okay, let's leave those guys down there for now. Jammer removed. Nice. Gonna take the 15% with a Gauss. See if we can get some hits on this guy. God, she hasn't hit yet. <laughs> yeah, well. I don't know if I keep cranking your gunnery up. Is it really gonna help you, is it? I have no idea. Who are you shooting at? The helicopter. Okay. They're inspired though, somehow. Yeah, they got a lock on me. Cool. It certainly makes those mechs a little bit more uh, useful now.
the fact that you can sensor lock everybody that's awesome now if that catapult turns around with the M MMLs and hammers this guy I don't have to worry about it anymore huh it's an electa battle electo? is it electo? what is it? electo arenas electo All right. Oof, really? That's it? As much as I want to kill this kit fox, I want to get this leg more than anything. Let's hope we burrow the leg. Got the upper arm. All right. Mech is on fire. The mech is on fire. Oh, we did some good damage to the leg. We're going to burrow him, damn it. Yes, Commander. Just shoot him. Shoot him with everything. I hit him with nothing. Yeah, I could tell. Shoot with everything and hit with nothing. Right here. Mm -hmm. yep. Come on. There we go. Oh wait. We got the leg. Yep, Torso, arm. I guess we blew the whole side off. Oh well. Hopefully we get a couple points of salvage. Most likely not. Let's get into here. See if we can ping this raven a bit. Not really. I understand. Eh. Well, at least the amount of fire that's happening now seems to be a lot less. I mean, it could be more in later games, but right now it seems to be pretty small. Oh, it's starting to spread. Okay. They should do it every second turn. It spreads. Because it's it spreads pretty damn quickly. Okay, so we're gonna try and come up behind this uh this Hollander here. He's got the he's a pirate version, eh? 716 armor, but he's down about a third a quarter, I guess, so not that bad. Oop. See ya. Did this guy shut down? I think he did. Okay, our did our pilot eject? What the hell? What the hell just happened? So our pilot ejected. And did this guy shut down? I don't know. Maybe that guy shut down. Infiltrator. What is up, my friend? You got good back armor. Not for long. Yeah. Gonna be jammed if I move forward. Yeah. I'm AMS protected though. Apparently. Okay. Goss rifle hit. Anytime you guys feel like engaging, please feel free. Where's that little shit burger? K 
can't target that guy for some reason. On yes. Come on, Dallas. Commander? Huh. Wow. Guess it really doesn't matter. I mean, we can't really get good shots on anybody here. Roger. Nothing. Failed to connect. Yeah, well, can't have everything. Since these guys aren't doing a goddamn thing, we might as well be doing it. Here comes the the bloopity bloop, ping, ping, ping. Friggin' sub. Somebody kill that piece of turd. He's the guy that should have died first and he's gonna die last. Okay. Oh, we're slow this turn. 16, 16, 14, 14. So he's melting, that guy. Okay, so this is the only Lance. Come on. Who's going next? Oh, we got guys at 22 over here. The Locust. This guy's got like a ton of weaponry. I don't know why he's not doing anything. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's the mongoose. Or not the mongoose, the hollander. Ferret. Oh, for Christ's sake. Really? That was a bad one, that was. Asshole. Somebody shoot that damn ferret. Major armor loss. Yeah, somebody shoot the damn ferret. Engaging jump jets. All right, firing. All weapons committed. Looks like he's got significant leg damage. Is he going down? What's he doing? Calculating something. Please don't, please don't, please don't jam. Please don't lock up. There we go. Okay, 55. Yeah. We got to go out to the sides. So his left side. So I got to be on my right side. Yeesh. Fire it. Alright, one hit. Not bad. Who puts a flamer on a helicopter? It's gotta be like a weird ass hill here. It's hard to see it. We're gonna do this, we're gonna jump. That's pretty darn good. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Affirmative. Yes. Mech destroyed. Nice job. Yes, Commander. Fuck. 
Flames on the way. Oh, we want to walk through the flames. Hmm. We're not going to get a good side shot in him anyway. Flames from there too, eh? Not here. Have no doubt it will be done. Got to get a side shot on this guy. A little better chance than it would have been before, but... Yeah. We got to take the shot at it. Had to take the shot at it. Come at him from the side. He's already taking side damage, so let's go after this side. Good chances to hit. Let's take it. Nice. Hip destroy. He's moving slower. Okay, lo he lost his pirate medium laser, which is nice. How are we doing damage-wise? Oh, yes. Lower leg destroyed. Arm's gone. Okay, his leg's almost gone. I don't know if he's got an XL engine in him. I don't think he does. Not if he's a pirate. He might, but unlikely. Okay, so who's going next? Dallas is going next. But is she in fire now? She's in fire. When does that raven go? Where is he? Right up here. Oh, the Hollander went already. Oh, shit! Well, there goes the Goss rifle. Yes, Commander. No? What do we lose? Oh, that was Helion. Damn, that's going to suck. All right, firing everything. Heat war- Ah, take this off. There we go. The shot. There goes the leg. Nicely done. A critical hit. So we'll go- Everyone will go before him. Whatever ballistic weapon is, I hope we get it. Okay, let's see if we can get that other leg now. Most likely not, but we're going to try. We could go torso. If he's got an XL he's done for, but I don't think he does. Eesh, that's so much armor though. Let's give him another wound. There goes the left torso. Engine crit again. Two engine crits. That's three engine crits. So is he done? Because he had one from before. Find out in a second. Wouldn't that be nice? Come on. Fingers crossed. Oh, come on. Please tell me you didn't crash. Nope. Oh, what? <laughs> that's like the second time I've done that. And it just pops back. Nice. i got to do that more quicker. I can do that quicker and more often now. Oh, God. He's still going, though, it looks like. Mm. That's that damn Goss rifle. Oh, God, we need to get the hell out of here. Uh...
So wait, left side, left side, do this. Okay. That's going to be some repairs, but at least we got that LBX of the last uh, last mission, and hopefully we can get the ballistic weapon off this guy. Do we kill him though? I don't see him here now. No, he's still there. Okay. So, how many crits does he have now? Annoying. That guy's going to be so hard to kill. All right. Let's hope we don't blow him up. 50% chance for this torso. 72 for CT. His ballistic weapon's gone anyway. Doesn't matter at this point. Alright Dallas, he's all yours. Coordinates received. Not jumping so it shouldn't be so bad. Can we get the small laser in there? We certainly no, we can't. Doesn't matter though. Let's CT him and get rid of this guy. Thank you. Target down. Awaiting order. I'm not going to close with this guy. Wow. Maybe we're going to have to. Oh, man. It almost makes you want to punch the snot out of this guy. Alright, it's not so bad. Now we don't have to worry about the big ballistic gun. Let's fire these lasers at him. Might get lucky, you never know. Guess I'm gonna have to try harder. It's really the streaks that are going to do it. We need a whole whack ton of... What are you shooting at over there? We need a whack ton of pulse lasers is what we need. Come on, shoot him. Shoot him. At least he's kind of got his back towards us. We can kind of move over there and shoot him in the back, hopefully. Give us a bit better chance to hit him. And with the streaks and it being a rave, and hopefully we'll be able to pen. He's in the woods, though, so it'll be half damage. Eh, I don't know. Who's going? Okay, we got someone here at 20. That's the Locust 2C. This guy's at 19, 2C. Catapult goes at 17. If he fired everything in his backside, there's a good chance he could do some half decent damage. Come on, shoot him in the back. Wow. Don't go the extra mile or anything. <laughs> Just don't, you know. That will be on fire. 15%. 13%. We'll take the flames. Better chance to hit when we had to do it. Yeah, nothing.
Oh, nice job. Nice job. You got MMLs, you know that, right? I guess you don't want to hit your own guy. Makes sense. I'm here. Just gonna walk it up. Fire what we can. At least we're dropping some heat. That's good. Oh, we hit once. Okay, nice. Oh, that looked like a head hit. Health three or four. Nice. If you're gonna hit with one missile, you might as well be to the head. Yes. Flames on the way. Not here, though. It looks like mechs are pathing a little bit better around flames. Oh, ER large. Nice. Give it a big chance to hit. Do it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Penned. You know, I wonder if uh, we hadn't got hit by that uh, artillery strike from our own guys, if uh, she would have taken this much damage, or she'd be still have her arm and everything. God, you're so terrible. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I, I think I kept the wrong pilot. <laughs> See ya. There it is, folks. Oh, man. All right, well, 91,000, that's not gonna, that's not gonna uh, help us with repairs, that's for sure. God, core got damaged, XL got damaged. So much damage, look at this, Goss rifle gone. Oh, all right, well, I guess it could have been worse. Didn't take any internals on anybody else, though, but we did take a little bit of damage. All right, well, Okay, we want the Kit Fox piece, I think. Now, uh, LRM-15 Clan. Case 2, Endosteel Clan. Clan Standard Cockpit, Support Gunnery, Plus 1 Gunnery. Those are really nice. Patchwork materials, tons of them. Sensors Clan. Sniper sensors, LRM ammo. I'm tempted to take the LRM 15. Rack 10, that's what that guy had. No wonder it was so devastating. Jeez. See, I could take the LRM. We could pull the LRM 5 off for the extra ton of ammo. Oh, well, there's two tons of ammo here. And take the LRM 15 and put it on the... Um, on Helion's machine. That with two tons of ammo will be like, what, 16 turns of firing? Two, four, six, eight, yeah, 16 turns of firing. Uh, I wonder. Support systems B. I support system B. Uh, so much good stuff. We'll get more in the future. So we need to look at the immediate right now. What do we need immediately? Um, that's kind of nice too. Oh! There is the rack 10 right there. 16 tons. Recoil of 5. Has a 5 misfire multiplier. Weapon damage varies between plus and minus 4. Fire a barrage of 5 shots and have a select fire of 1 to 6 shots with increased heat recoil and jam chance at a higher rate, at higher fire rates.
You know, if I had all medium mechs, I think I would go this route. Well, we had two tons of ammo for it too, right? Yeah. 14% flat jam chance mitigated by gunnery. Minus 15% weapon damage dealt with this ammo. Rotary Autocan 10 ammo. 20 shots. Caseless. Increased jam. T oh man, 14% flat jam. I don't think we can I don't think we can do that. As cool as the weapon sounds, if it fired, it might, I mean, I mean, you might wreck somebody, but then if you couldn't fire for two or three turns after that, it's like, what's the point? Plasma rifle. Two tons. Narc launcher. Yeah, we're going to go this route. I think we're going to go this route. Take one ton of LRM ammo. We have one more. Oh, this says quantity two. Does this give you two tons of ammo? Interesting. Maybe. Let's confirm it. See what we get here. Okay, lacto part, Hollander part. Nice. Part ER medium. Oh, we got the uh, uh, SRM six. Endo steel. Standard, clan, clan standard. We can put that on some of the other max, I think. Gunnery, that's nice. Patchwork materials, rack, caseless ammo. Eh. All right. Man, Tortuga's going crazy. Okay, 150,000. Yeah, well. We knew that was going to be an issue. Okay, let's have a look here. Um... Mongoose, Firefly, Kid Fox. These guys are going to be out for a little while. So let's have a look. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's wait a couple days here. Ah, crap. Goofy and Hillian are shouting, followed by a loud metallic crash. And I see you to join us right halfway to bed. Uh, your mech warriors refuse to, f refuse to follow the recovery regimen. Ugh. Let's give them a, let's relax the rules on them a little bit. Oh, they're both high spirits. Nice. But they're minus one five. medical point for seven days. That's fine. We're not going to be back in action for that long anyway. All right. First of all, before we go into the mech bay, let's just check the star map. So if we're going to take a little bit of time to fix our mechs here, we've got to see how far. That's 24 days. So let's see how long it's going to take to get ourselves back in action here. So one more day for the mongoose. Come on. Okay, so the mongoose is back in action. Jenner's back in one day. Uh, should we wait? It's really the kit fox that's got to be fixed here. So let's have a look um, at the bays. The kit fox, I think, is going to be the LRM. We'll figure out what else we're going to do. But the flea, sorry, firefly. Uh, let's check out what he's got. Okay, case and LRM5. He's got pretty darn good armor on this thing. Let's pull these out and see how much weight we're saving here. Uh, so we're saving, where is it up here? About three tons. Got a Guardian ECM. Let's take it out of the arm and put it in the head. Um... Is this fixed structure? That's standard structure. Uh, yeah, let's leave it like that. Let's go to... Um, so this is like a lot of lasers and stuff. So let's get... Clan fire control system in here. Um, Point two is not going to give me much. Where is uh, this equipment? I thought we picked up a few heat sinks. 
engine heat sinks here we go uh, we did heat sink double so you got double heat sinks right how much one ton really well that's right yeah there's two of them what's the heat efficiency now really good so we can jump and fire now how much can we add armor wise there's not much left here Maybe we just max it out Okay, then we got one ton available. Um, did we not pick up, uh, where is the lasers? Here we go. Medium laser, large laser. Do we want to pull out the smalls and put in a large? Uh, we have to pull off a lot more than that. This is five tons, right? It is five tons. So the smalls, 15 damage, eight heat. Large is 24 heat, though, so it's the same as three smalls. Um, so if we go... Just playing with this right now, let's just do this. Grab the large. Uh, we want to put it in the arm, I think. Right? And then if we go... That's getting closer. Large in three mediums is actually pretty good. Maybe we pull the medium out of the CT, put it in this arm. Right? Give it a better chance to hit. Heavy gyro, eh? Does it need a heavy gyro? Less stability damage, but we're going to be at range. Well, not really. I mean, I don't know. That saves a bit. And we've got max armor now. Maybe we could drop a little bit of armor. We've almost got max armor. So how much, what if we drop a little bit? I don't want the patchwork on this guy. Um... Actually, what are, what's our heat sinking right now? Ridiculously good. So let's pull one heat sink out. Right, and put the armor back on. Where's the armor here? Here, here. Right. And then our heat sinking should still be really good. Yeah. And then let's drop we can't put them in the arms. Why can't we fit these in the torsos? Oh, it won't fit in the torso. We're fitting this one. And it'll fit in the CT. Actually, let's put them both in the CT. Put the two smalls back on for a better alpha strike later on if we have to. If we get in close. That's pretty darn good. Because we could, if we get in close, we can drop the large and just go with everything else. I guess. I don't know. Let's try that. It's seven days. Okay. On it. I'll let you, know when that's done. you get on that. So the mongoose, planning on refitting this guy. It's the machine guns I don't like. Wait, this isn't the one I want. You are large to medium, so this one was fine. So the armor is actually pretty good on this guy. It's LSLDF, so that's fine. Double heat sinks. Our heat sink efficiency in this is really good. So don't have to worry about that. So let's leave this mech as is. Let's have a look at the Piranha. That's the one I'm thinking with the machine guns. Looks kind of interesting except for the stupid open mouth. Okay, this is the one with all the machine guns. It's got an ER medium, ER, two ER mediums. I think we're going to pull these off. 
I think this is the mech we're going to cannibalize a little bit here. Let's take these off it. Let's take this off for now. And probably the clan double heat sinks. And the ER small. We'll leave the rest for now. How is all these coming off? Giving it that much weight left over. How much did these things weigh? One ton, two, three. Oh, right, because the heat sinks are for the XL engine. They don't weigh anything. That's right. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's do this. Let's confirm it. So we got a bit more to work with with the Kit Fox now. So let's wait for the Kit Fox and the Jenner to come back. So that's going to be two, three days. There's our financial report. Yeah, that's a lot of money for operating expenses, but we don't have a choice at this point. Okay, so let's check out our mechs here. So Healing and Goofy are out for 17 days. Maybe we should jump. I'm thinking we probably should. So the Kit Fox, let's refit this guy. So this is Helion's mech. She's the best gunner. So let's repair this. She's the best gunner. So how much does this thing weigh? 11 tons. That might be much. Let me think about this for a second. So where is our flamer PPC LRMs? We got a five and a fifteen. See, we need armor too, right? Yeah, so we did get two LRM ammo. That's bizarre. Okay, and then we need case. We've already got case. So this isn't case two, so it won't help. Okay, support A. Wait, why don't we... That's bizarre. Okay, that gives us plus one gunnery. What's the heat efficiency right now? Not that great. But we do have clan double heat sinks. We can put one in each leg. It's pretty good. Another one here maybe. Pretty good. And then maybe we just max out the armor if we can. Definitely want more armor because this thing got shredded last time. I don't know how this is going to work here. Okay, then we need to put in, uh, where are you here? Equipment. Actually, let's put this patchwork on this side. This one on this side. Actually, let's put this in the head. That'll give us some more armor. Right. This is supposed to be a ranged fighter anyway. One more in the back middle. Nope, can't quite get enough. That's pretty good though, I think. That's definitely going to help with survivability. I was hoping to put two ER mediums in it, but 
I think with the LRMs, the, uh, have, uh, having an LRM-20, the Gauss Rifle was better, obviously, for the direct fire damage, but with no armor, like, we got shredded big time. This way, at least, we'll be able to do indirect fire. Have a long-range platform for indirect fire. I guess the other way to go would be... What do we have laser-wise? Like, we could go all lasers, go, go four ER mediums. We could go four ER mediums, and then, like, ER small, medium laser. But we don't have enough heat sinking, I think, to deal with that. This is 23 heat, and this is 6, so it's like 30 heat there. And these are what, 21 each? Yeah, there's no, we won't have the heat sinking for that. Right now our heat's just like, you know, manageable. Now it's a little better. Where we pull out, this is an LRM 20, we don't need all this ammo. Too much ammo. Right? Too much ammo? You could go that route. So this gives us two tons left over. Do we have any more? We don't have any more clan double heat sinks. Equipment wise, nothing that we want to put in. I mean, we could put this gyro in. Um, Two times left over, we could kind of max out the armor and put like the ER small. If we put an ER medium in, like four ER mediums in the LRM 15. Ah, I don't know. The heat efficiency is just getting killed here. Um, we just don't have enough other stuff to be able to to drop things in here. Like, what if we? I guess we could just put the. Uh, where is it here? Leave that in. I mean, it's not very heat efficient. But we won't necessarily be firing these when we're firing all of these. Yeah, let's go this route. Okay. And then let's have a look at the Jenner. I don't know if there's anything I want to do to this guy. The streaks are nice. But lasers too, like it'd be nice to have lasers in this guy. Um, the armor is okay, I guess. I guess we could pull, I got seven jump jets in here. Seven, huh? I don't know, man. It's highly maneuverable with this though. Those back strikes are really good. Let's leave it for now. Let's just leave it and see. So these are what? Three tons each, so it's six tons. Seven, eight, nine, eleven tons. And then these are what? Half a ton each? Yeah. So we got fourteen and a half tons keeping the armor as it is. I don't think there's really anything with what we have that we could do to make this better. Like, I mean, we could pull out a ton of... Well, that's a lot of streak ammo, though. 16 shots, so 10, 11, 12. Like, if we pull out a ton of streak ammo, we could go ahead and put in that... Uh, where are you here? 
Uh, lasers. You can put on your ER medium. Now, heat efficiency is going to drop. Not by much, though. But with the 200 rounds of streak ammo, it's 16 shots per, but they're not all firing. Right? They're only going to fire if they hit. So that extra ton is really not useful. Or we could put in the ER small and half a ton of armor. Because we don't have any arm armor at all. Or we just put in a full ton of armor. go that route that's a little better protection I think less chance to lose the streaks and a hit yeah let's go that route rather than using the, the uh, laser although we could pull out one of the jump jets and put an ER small in like we could pull that out put the e clan ER small in Twenty damage is pretty good. I mean, heat sinking sixty, alpha strike fifty four. So it's pretty good. If we fire the jump jets, I mean, we won't be able to fire everything, obviously, but that's fine. Let's confirm that. On. All right, so there it is, folks. We are going to jump to. Uh, well, we'll jump between episodes. We'll, we'll jump to the next planet. And we'll be there next episode. Hopefully we can find a mission. Um, it's 24 days there. Although, how much is it to get these guys back in action? 17 days. What do we have for uh, contracts here? Sorry this episode's gone so long. Biological sample. Local government research facility. Mopping up. Local government lance. Uh, Lusan clan wolf. We could do these guys. War criminals yeah, is iffy. We don't want to piss off Jade Falcon. Um, yeah, we'll save the seven days and not jump. We'll stay here. So next episode, guys, I'll have everything fixed up and ready to go. Um, we'll have the training module up and running. I might pick out something else that we can to uh, upgrade. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. We're going to... We're down to 900,000 if we're going to be uh, jumping out of here. So I may have to reevaluate that, but we'll see. All right, so I'm leaving the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Keep in mind, I'm recording several episodes back-to-back, -back, so if I don't get right to those comments uh, in the next episode, most likely it's because I recorded them back-to-back, -back, and I will be taking those into consideration for the episodes when I record next. All right, so until next time, we'll see you later.